have millions and millions worldwide deceived. For more reference, taking a look at some more of these deceivers. Again, the double 666 hand sign. All Masonic. And here's Carter Colon. I've had people tell me on my channel, oh no, this guy's legit. Do you believe this guy's legit? Sorry to say, you're 100% deceived. All of them are Masons. There are no heroes in this world. If they were, they wouldn't be on TV. TV is 100% controlled. This is how they control all of society. Like the old saying goes, a picture says a thousand words. All Masons in the game. Take a look here at Donald Trump, a major player in the game today. Again, Carter Poland, Angela Merkel of Germany. You have Adolf Hitler here as well. I've had some people come to my channel claiming Adolf Hitler, some type of hero, fighting off the elite, which is complete hogwash. He was part of the world stage. People don't get it, they never will. Now, getting back on topic with the flat earth and showing how the firmament is above us again with the sun and the moon within the firmament. This is key here from Genesis 1.14. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament. This is within the firmament right there. So again, the churches don't tell you this. This is the truth. Now let's look at evidence with video footage. Take a look as you see clouds behind the sun and in front of the sun. I'm also going to show some footage of the moon within the clouds, proving again of the Bible's truth. Clearly see the sun, clouds behind, clouds in front. How is this possible if the sun is supposedly 93 million miles away? It's not. It's more like a thousand to three thousand miles away. Much smaller than we're told as well. You need to forget everything you were ever told in the history books, in schools, what NASA says, what the History Channel says. It's all lies. This video you can clearly see how the clouds are behind the moon. This is no illusion. The only illusion is what we're told in the school systems that are owned and operated by those that own and control this world, the anti-God system. The truth has always been in front of you, right there. You just have to open your mind, let your eyes see the truth, which is right in front of you. People that don't believe in the Bible are completely deceived. Unfortunately, there's no turning back, and that's why they say get them while they're young. First thing you do when you step in a classroom as a child, first thing you see is you see a globe. Every classroom is part of conditioning and brainwashing the anti-God system. And now I'm going to play a previous video explaining more of the flat earth model. Again, when the Bible states there's ends of the earth, understand. I'll explain this more in the, in the video coming up. Ring of Ice, Antarctica. This surrounds the flat Earth. And of course, the UN flag just so happens to match the flat Earth model. This is mockery. This is how Satan operates and his minions. They love to mock. For those that are new to the flat Earth concept, they can't grasp it, don't completely understand a lot of people's first reaction is what we fall over the edge it doesn't work that way the edges of the earth the huge ice ring which is antarctica and the sun like the bible says the sun moved and the earth is stationary it's fixed immovable so understand one simple thing everything we're told in the school system in college the exact opposite of the bible just like evolution how we all evolve from, from fish to monkeys to humans. The whole ball of earth we're told in the school system is another lie. Everything we're told is a lie. And why do they lie to us about all this stuff? 
they want to be the ones that hold the knowledge. They want to mock God's people. Play this video. There's no moon in this model, but understand one thing. The sun moves a bit faster than the moon. One concept to also understand is, but don't get it, at times you can see the moon and the sun in the sky at the same time during the day. That means on the other side of the supposed globe, there's no sun, there's no moon. It doesn't make sense at all. But this clip, to understand again how the sun works on a flat earth night and day. See, three hour time difference of the east coast and the west coast get their light. Exactly how it works. Earth, the sun and the moon are much closer to Earth than we're told. Only a few thousand miles, not, the sun is not 93 million miles away. It's all lies by NASA, the government, we've been all lied to. And also to understand the solar eclipse, like I stated earlier, the sun and the moon move at different speeds. Just like a clock, the moon moves at a different speed, a slower speed. That's how you get those eclipses, solar eclipse. And also, I, I explained this before, that the 24-hour sun, sunlight in Norway and in, in Alaska, the sun smooths when it spins around the earth. It moves, it spins in and out. So again, when it spins towards the center, during the times of year that you get complete daylight in this region, the North Pole, the Arctic, that's how. You, that's why you get those 24-hour sun. And it doesn't happen in the south. The supposed southern hemisphere, for example, the tip of South America, New Zealand, you never get those 24 hours daylight. And that's because, of course, as the sun moves around, it's not constant like it is in the Arctic. One other thing, the sun how it moves from changing the seasons in and out. The sun, again, is furthest from the ice ring. So the further away you get, the colder it is, of course,